on the line, ladies and gentlemen, from Pope Street, we have Big Devil. What up, Big Devil? What's going on, bro, man? Thanks for uh, bringing me on, man, yeah, on your yeah. podcast. Man. Appreciate you, appreciate you, man. Now, uh, for my audience out there, everybody knows the city of Compton. Compton was made famous by NWA and, and put really put that city on the map. What a lot of people don't know is the city right next to Compton, which is the city of Linwood, which is where you're from, correct? Right. Talk to me about what your upbringing was like in Linwood. Well, I moved to Linwood in uh, 1987. I moved from Compton. Uh, I used to stay over there on Road Street and Tucker, over there in Santana's. So I moved from there and I moved to Linwood in uh, 1987 on Right Road Street off Imperial. Okay. When did you, I guess, quote unquote, jump off the porch? Uh, I jumped off the porch right when I moved in because uh, I was already um, in that environment, you know, growing up in different cities. I grew up over there in, uh, in the Tanis and over there at Campanella Park, uh, just different neighborhoods, going to school with different uh, groups of individuals who was already from those uh, neighborhoods. So it was kind of like I was already introduced to it, but I wasn't from nowhere, you know, so because I went to, uh, when I stayed over there at Campanella Park, I went to uh, McKinley Elementary School. So, you know, that school right there was in the heart of the Nellis. And everybody, every kid in that school was from Capitanella Park. Either you're from Capitanella Park or you're from Westside Pyro. So all my friends in the neighborhood that I grew up with, they eventually, you know, turned Capitanella Park. But I got bused to Longfellow when I was still staying over there on Rosecrans and Stanford. We got bused to Longfellow, me and my little brother. So when we got to Longfellow Elementary School, you know, that school right there is home to the Nutty Blocks. So, you know, I went from having all Pyru friends to now being introduced to all Crip friends. Mm. You know what I mean? So it was kind of like they thought I was from over there, you know, because first day of school, they hear, oh, you got bust from McKinley. You know, you you a oh, slob. So I first heard the term slob. You a slob? And I'm like, I'm looking at my brother like, you know, what that mean? Ah, what the hell is, what they talking about? I ain't slobbing on myself. <laughs> So, you know, when I got to class, uh, my teacher was Miss Crockett. So, you know, everybody in my class, man, all nutty blocks, man. So, uh, you know, we got to the playground and uh, my mom's always had us in the sports. So, you know, I had to play, I know I played basketball, baseball, football, everything. So I get to the basketball court, you know, and they, they own me, you know, hey, man, you where you live at? I said, man, I live on Rosecrans. You know, where, where you from? You, you know, you, you from Campanella? So I'm thinking, you know, yeah, I know about that park. You know, I play baseball there. Oh, I said, yeah, I know, you know, yeah, I know about Capitola Park. You know, they like, what? Oh, Capitola Park? Damn. You know, that, this, this 90 block kind of crib. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I heard about the cribs. Okay. Yeah. I said, but nah, I ain't from, you know, I don't bang. You know what I mean? But, you know, throughout the years, you know, we got, you know, real cool because BG Knockout went there when I went there. Okay. The Longfellow. You know, he was there too. You know, the gang of, you know, all nutty blocks. Okay. So we, so then when I get home, you know, I'm telling my friends at home, hey, man, I go to Longfellow. You're going over there with them crabs. I'm like, damn, mm. you know, slides over here, crabs over there. You know, I'm so confused. But all my peers, you know, at that time, you know, 85, 86, 87, man, the gangs was, was, was tough, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It, everybody was, was banging, you know. So we moved from right there on Stanford Rosecrans. We moved over there on Tucker and Rose Street. You know what I'm saying? that when we moved over there, you know, that was – Gang, gang infested too, Santana's. Mm -hmm. Every kid on my street was Santana, mm -hmm. you know, as a little kid. So I'm like, damn, you know, these Santana's over here, you know, Capitana's over there, that, all this gang stuff, you know. Wanna see the city bus? She don't wanna ride the city bus. 
because she's new to the town I advise, look for truth, the ears are lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud, dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash, I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up, I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me he saw it the other day with the baby Ain't life crazy, I think about it once in a while When it's cloudy outside and the sun goes None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Spinning out a cylinder, moving, I'm in reverse Committing crimes of passion, judging jury at first But I love that girl, been my woman since day one Had a couple of kids in the house, the job done So what happened while we ain't loving no more? Maybe I should take some blames instead of taking the score But me and more don't go, I'm begging you gotta change We can work it out even through pleasure and pain You gotta chill with the liquor, girl, you get too friendly Who you talking to, baby? That's my man Henry That's what I'm talking about, baby, just sit your ass Damn. You wanted to have some fun, me take you out on the town So you can shake a tail feather, maybe we cut a rug Drinking and driving on the low key, rum in a jug Give me a hug, wrong nigga baby You drive your nigga crazy in the morning Won't remember shit, I know it's kinda hazy None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Ready, ready, set, go. go Put your seatbelt on, up in the way we about to go about to The road go. is gonna get windy, promise not to lose control yeah. The final destination's bound to captivate your soul And so, many MCs inspired to be One of the baddest motherfuckers to touch the MIC Then the law came life, now your dreams deferred All the years of writing rhymes captured in a blur My ponders contemplating the worst Put all your energy into the music, now you're looking for thirst to be quenched Paying dues upon dues Keep on telling yourself I'm making others believe in you too When it's true You can make it if you try There's levels to everything Better believe it Cause you can deny it And never achieve it It won't come easy Just put in the work And know your worth Continue to rise Cause all we do is capitalize None of these drugs Do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point Of hurting people That you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah So when I moved to Landwood in 87 I moved over there you know, we were still, you know, kids or whatever. I moved on Wright Road. We was the first family to move in the apartment complex on Wright Road Street. Okay. So when we moved over there, the next family that moved in was uh, a family. Uh, two brothers was from uh, Corner Pocket, Compton Crip. So I'm like, okay, now here we go again. <laughs> you know, Corner Pocket. You know, at that time, I didn't know nothing about Post Street. I didn't hear about it. I didn't, you know, I didn't know nothing about it. But as the family started moving in. You know, we started venturing off, you know, riding bikes around the neighborhood. And then I ran into uh, my homeboy named Lil Hitman. So when I run into him, you know, where y'all from? Like, man, we just moved over here from Compton. You know, oh, it's, it's Post Street over here. You know, I'm like, oh, okay, you know, what's that? I was laying with Post Street, Crips. Oh, okay. He come over there to the apartment complex where we stayed at, introduced himself to everybody, all the kids. And, uh, he said, yeah, I'm gonna take you to, I'm gonna take you over there on Post Street so you can meet a couple of homies. So we go over there, meet a couple of homies, big homies or whatever. And then at that point, that's when I said, okay, you know, I won't in. You know what I mean? I yeah, I'd had the peer pressure from the from the Pyro side, from the from the Crip side, you know what I mean? I, I won't in this like, you know what I mean? And it kind of like, you know, once I got in, I was in. Let's take it back a little bit. I'll, um 
to the best of your knowledge, when did Pope Street get established? What's the history behind it? Were, were they, uh, Pope Street? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Pope Street got established in 1975. When, when, when Pope Street came out, they came out as Pope Street Hustlers. Mm -hmm. So at that time, their whole format was about money, about getting money, mm -hmm. you know, selling cocaine, weed, everything, water, everything. So when 1976 hit, that's when they changed their name from Pope Street Hustlers to Pope Street Hustler Crip. And they started cripping at that time. So, um, yeah, that's when that that's when that started right there. Okay. And now take me back to the day that you actually joined. Did you get put on? Jumped in? Uh, it was kind of it was it was a, it was a, it was kind of like I put him on. Okay. You know what Explain I mean? Because it. because I always been good with my hands, you know what I mean? Having a, having two brothers and the whole family with nothing but cousins, mm -hmm. you know. It was kind of like uh you know, he tried to put me, you know, he was a little hit man. He said, yeah, I'm going to court you in. So I was like, I was already looked at looking at him as a weak individual oh, shit, because man. his stories didn't add up. You know what I mean? He he took me around a couple of dudes and he got punched on and choked out. So I'm like, you know, this dude is weak. You know, he's coming over here telling me he's tough. I mean, he, he actually, you know, I could take him one on one. So he said, yeah, you know, we're going we're gonna to jump you in tonight. I said, OK, took off my shirt. We go to the back of the apartment complex which we called the shark tank at that time, because that's where everybody got put on at. And uh, he tried to, you know, square it up or whatever. I give him a couple of couple of body blows and, and face blows, and he balled up. Mm. So I was thinking it was going to be a a, 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 a brawling, and, and, and it turned out like that. That was too much for him. Mm. Damn. They said you're on, huh? Nice. Yeah. So, okay. you know, he didn't even say I was on. I was, Basically, I said I was on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. It's like the message has been lost. How much money does a black life cost? Every time we kill another brother, we keeping people employed who profit when we kill another. Bang, bang. How can we make a change instead of pointing at others for the blame? Shit, let's put some gasoline on the flame and burn this bitch down if they don't hear what we saying. Bang, bang. Better be strapped for the peace. They talking about defunding police. Gun stores sold out for six weeks. I'm smelling something in the air and it reeks. Black lives matter all the time. Not just when one of them kills one of our kind. Cause I don't ever see Al Sharpton speaking when Chicago has 30 murders in one week. Oh, yeah. Just listen, it's my state of mind, I'm dreaming, I'm on a mission Trying to push the world for peace, no more hate I got my black fist up in the corner to demonstrate Let's get it straight this time, movement is all over the world Energy divine, where were you when the revolution got started? Black people fed up, more than really departed We all living on this earth, we human, nobody rally Marching in units in George Floyd, chanting loudly how many brothers have to die? We already realize equality's a lie. I'm trying to get it by enemies that be necessary. Red and blue lights flashing behind me can't be very scary. I see the police before they see me. Get out the car, roll the ground down on your knees. Please. of my skin this current situation got me feeling like the revolution's about to begin on the different type of vibe so many ready for change fist in the atmosphere sick and tired of the games being played body slain ain't no fucks given only justification does i fit the description trapped in the system just another digit in a private prison trying to keep the optimism it's telling me to the core how many more we gonna lose we got the right to live our life without you and me know what we do enlighten the youth feed the knowledge give them tools running the race coming out of my shoe taking it all the way back to my 
roots It's a different time, we ain't going for it You see this power in numbers, keep on ignoring You see us coming together, together we growing They feel the change that's coming, you better know I'm in the Are there any uh, blood hoods in Linwood? Yeah. Oh, okay. You got the, uh, right next to us. You got the Cross Atlantic Five Rose. Oh, Cross Atlantic. Is, okay. Yeah, which is literally like, like two or three blocks over from okay. where we at. And it's kind of crazy because, for us to be so close to them, you would think that we would be natural, rival enemies, and it, it was never like that. At least when I was coming up, it wasn't like that. Hmm. You know what I mean? We always, we, you know, we, we see each other, and you know, it'll be maybe a a B threw up, a C threw up, or whatever like that, but it was never no uh, full-on war with them. Hmm. Interesting. Our war was our war was always been with Crips. Okay. Pope Street, war has been with Crips, you said? Yeah. What's the other set out there that you guys are beefing? You got the, you got the Linwood Neighborhoods. That's okay. another street right over. Yeah. Uh, you got you got the Pomino Gangsters. Okay. That's on the west of them. And then you got the 211s, Criminals, hmm. Crips. Okay. Then you got a couple other little, you know, small uh, fractions of hoods. Okay. What's uh, what's the relationship like with the Latino gangs? Uh, well, we got a close relationship with the young crowds, because our hood and they hood kind of intertwine, hmm. so to speak. We kind of like share the same area, so you know we grew up with them. You know what I mean? We know each other's fathers, mothers, sisters, brothers, kids. So we always had a mutual respect with them, you know, coming up, you know what I'm saying? Even though, you know, you know, back in the day it was a couple of fights here and there, but nothing big. But we always had a respect for the young crowds. Okay. Damn. So it's a trip that the only ones you guys are warring with are other Crips. Right. Uh. Only only hood. <clears throat> Damn. Well, shit, let's take it back to 92, 93, that whole year, that, that kind of year, those two summers uh, where it was just really popping in L.A., like I said earlier. But, you know, we specifically had the whole Rodney King situation, which if you fast forward to 2021, we're still going through it. Nothing's really changed on that end. But that's a whole other story for a whole other day. But we experienced L.A. riots. And right, right after the L.A. riots came the Watts gang truce. To the best of your knowledge, do you know if there was ever any talks of the Linwood gangs making a truce back then? Or have there ever been any talks? Uh, yeah, it was. Uh I had just got, I had got out of camp uh, April 7th of 1992, and then the riots kicked off April 29th. Mm -hmm. So right when the riots kicked off April 29th, uh, we had got a um, a call or summons from the Linwood neighborhoods to you know meet up at an elementary school in their neighborhood to have some type of, we wasn't at war with them at, at that time. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just a little tension, but we wasn't at war with them at that time. So we met up with them. Uh, and the Pomino gangsters at elementary school to talk about, you know, our differences to try to iron some things out before it got out of hand. And um, to my knowledge, I, I mean, I was young, so I was you know, 17, 18 years old. You know, I didn't really, really wasn't with no peace, to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I was mainly like, you know, ready to do it. Mm -hmm. So uh, we had two, we had two meetings. We had that meeting right there. And then we had another bigger gang truce meeting with, with everybody. You had the Lime Hoods, we had the Cross Atlantic Pyros. Uh, you even had LA gangs. You had the 60s coming up to the park, the Linwood Park. You know, it was about 50, 60 different gangs up there. You know what I mean? But it was never no peace talk. It was never nobody standing up there saying, hey, this is, 
this is the method to the madness. Let's let's do this to help. Let's do that. And you know what I mean? It was just a bunch of dudes from different hoods sizing each other up, uh, you know, meeting each other that you was in jail with, camp, why with or whatever, shaking hands, but it was never no no talks about nothing. You know, and then in nineteen ninety three all hell broke loose. I know a girl that pops a perk before she brushes teeth. I know a dude that snorts coke at least twice a week. I have a friend who's married, but he still be fucking bitches. And his excuse is that his wife is always fucking bitching. I remember, hold up, sorry, I forgot to mention. I know a girl that used to cut herself to get attention. To get attention, I would always used to get detention. Getting suspended was my only life mission. My little cousin went to jail, now he's facing life. Promised my aunt I'll look after him, but I lied. Working 60 hours a week trying to stack cheese. Ignoring texts from my family members every week. I'm a deadbeat cousin missing birthdays Promised my dad that I'd call him on Thursday But it's Saturday and I haven't hit him yet I know one day that is something that I will Slow down. Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Yo, yo Yo. I write rhymes for the masses, introductory classes, bringing you up to speed, can't see, go get your glasses. We gon' mix it with the little honey jack, got the cherries at the bottom, you know I be eating that. So much going on in the world today, I think we need to slow down, chill, meditate. Let me fly in the sky like birds, I'm using my imagination to strip them with the words. So let's blow clouds, I'm sending you much love, I'm held down by gravity, my spirit is up above. Hop in the sky, take a ride with me, 485 horsepower. Me. Now we gone in the wind, dipping off in the sunset Moving at the speed of light, car looking like a jet I bet it was another who wanted to shine But I'm two steps beyond, baby, this my time Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Now it's just them chemtrails trying to take us out, man Population control, so the devil your soul For the money and the power, yeah, the ultimate goal Slow down Let that sink in, smoking on some clone guy I feel like I'm sinking in a pool full of liquor and coherent Sober up, then I do it again Check me out Determination of a tortoise with the speed of a hare I'm blowing past some seas like I blow my smoke in the air I play that skin to win this if I was on double dare And I'm always welcome back like my name was Mr. Carter Burn rubber like I burn my leaf Hard for me to slow down when my kids gotta eat I'm in the belly of the beast maneuver like Jet Li Translation man I'm quick on my feet Quick to defeat That's my suspicio or get hit with this heat What? What did he say? Can you repeat? That's my suspicio or get hit with this heat Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Do you think, in your honest opinion, like, even if it is 50 years down the line, 100 years down the line, do you think there will ever be peace amongst gangs? To tell you the truth, no, I don't think so. Hmm. Because you have different fractions of people being born into this world where the respect is lost. You know, when I was coming up, there was respect. You know, you respect your neighbors, you respect hmm. the grown folks. We respect the people, grandmother, you know, stuff like that. So, and then your little homies already have respect for the G homies. Mm-hmm. You know, if a G homie told me to, you know, if I was going to do something and one of my G homies that I respect and I was loyal to told me, hey, stand down, don't do that, then I'm going to stand down and don't do that. Mm-hmm. You know, not because I'm scared of them, it's because of the loyalty and respect that I have for him and for my hood. Mm-hmm. It's just, you know, 
don't do that. You know what I mean? Going to cause problems. You know, there's days and time you got these youngsters where they just lost all respect and they lost loyalty for, for really what it stood for. So they don't give, they don't care. You know what I mean? I'm going to go and commit this murder and go kill this other black man. I don't care what the big homie say. And that's what, that's what's going to keep it going on. Revolving doors, just going to keep going on and on. You know what I mean? And then when you lose a loved one, uh, it's hard to take, it's hard to forget. It's hard to forgive. And it's hard to get that, that back. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So Pope Street, they use a light blue rag, right? Right. Oh, okay. Right. Do you know what the re- what the history behind that was? Or is it just uh, something they decided to do to stand out? Uh, it's just something the big homies came up with. Yeah. You know, the pot of blue rags. Uh, but when my generation formed, which is the baby gangsters, in 87, and probably like 88, 89, we took the hustler off. Okay. Not in any disrespect for our big homies, but my generation didn't feel that we were true hustlers. Even though we was getting money, we was more of conflict. You know, we wasn't at war with nobody, but you know, we wanted to go to war with somebody. You know what I mean? We wanted to put our name out there. We wanted to be feared. We wanted to be known. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Now, we grew up in the era of gangster rap. You know, movies like Colors and Menace to Society and, and, and things like that. Um, how influential do you think stuff like that was to spreading gangs all over the world, literally? Uh, it was very influential because I'm going to tell you, when Colors came out in 1988, me and my homeboys, we called the bus to Alondra Six Movie Theater. That's when movies were seventy five. In a long time. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Alondra Six. We, we caught, yeah. We caught the bus up there to the movie theaters and we snuck in because we were still teenagers. So we you know, we snuck in with some adults, some adult dudes. You know, we got in or whatever, but I'm a, we sitting there watching this movie and seeing the first scene where, you know, Rock is in this van. Uh-huh. You know, Rocky they get high. Smoke and the rocket yeah. Don't show. He's smoking his sherm with all this stuff, yeah. blue rags everywhere. You know what I mean? That that made me just feel like, like man, I, I man, I want that so bad. I want that power. That, that looked to me that was like power to pull up on the guy, put your gun out and just blow him away. You know, at that time it was like, man, I, that's what I that's what I want right there. You know, so we took that back. Well, I took it back. You know what I mean? Go back to the house. You know, you put on your NWA, you you know, you stand in the mirror as a kid, mm-hmm. got your lokes on and you flexing your muscles and all this stuff. And, you know, what I mean? you acting like you got a gun on you and you're trying to practice how to how to pull a gun out and, you know, do all these maneuvers and stuff with your gun. So it was very information to me. For us to recognize that our nations have worked together for security and peace and human dignity around the world. In Paris, the most ambitious agreement in history to fight climate change, a new sustainable development set of goals to end extreme poverty, to the American company sparking a fierce debate across this country tonight, for all a business in Wisconsin implanting microchips in its employees in the skin of their hands. So what are they tracking and would you say yes if you're not supposed to do the same? Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat I had to rush out of my bed Cause I was late for work My motherfucking rent is due And my boss is a jerk Pencil pushing at the job An intermediate clerk My mama told me to go to school I'm going bananas berserk I work every day Don't know where the money goes My girl is big and pregnant Want me to paint her toes Only a high school diploma I'm smelling the aroma The greenery is burning in my room But life is a mama seat She glad to meet ya She bad coming soon <laughs> Better get the broom My nigga you clean up your house She got a little more time to back out Cause she ain't your spouse But do I love her? I need her Maybe respect how I treat her But when I see my baby I'ma wanna go and feed her Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat
job Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat I was born in a space and time where people were stupid Everybody looking for love, fucking with Cupid Who did whatever they wanted to do with black fist up Stand to opposition, keeping Hennessy in a cup Drink, nigga tell me what you think about God The Bible is written by man, so people think of a side Form your own opinion before you listen to white men The system has got you on American bandstand And when you get home, you gotta look in the mirror Take off all the makeup and the wig is more clear I fear a day when I can't smoke my weed I drank my drink, my nigga, you know what I need But success is a motherfucker, shoes to feel I got a baby at home, I need them big time deals This shit just got real, it's going down tonight Somebody gon' get jacked, hope they don't put up a fight Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Blow that smoke right out your lungs You go to church every Friday Now you're speaking in tongues You gave up chilling with friends Pastor got a bend Repenting on your knees Confessing all your sins to the end How far will it go? Why you naked boy? He eating all your candy Tasting your own joy Troy, I can help you Let me take you to outer space If you're looking for God Meditate to the perfect place Race, we moving at the speed of light Traveling fast through a black hole And in my days and night I'm trying to fight against the norm My eyes are open, you see Cause I can only be me Not what you want me to be Classy, nigga born in the 77 Daddy named Orlando My name Kevin Lucille, my mama The girl true raised me Kevin and Delilah, they having a baby Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Is Pope Street anywhere else in the country, or are you guys just mainly a Linwood gang? No, we are a Linwood gang. Okay, so when anyone in the world hears Pope Street, they know Linwood. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. You familiar with Takashi Six Nine? Uh, I see him on the internet, but I don't, I don't know nothing about him. Like, you know, okay, I don't, I don't never listen to his music or nothing like that. But I heard read okay. a couple of articles on it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, He's a guy who snitched on his his gang, the Bloods, in in New York. And long story short, he snitched on everybody, and now he's out just running around acting a fool. So much so that he went to Nipsey Hussle's, uh, you know, memorial recently, and you know, did some some disrespectful shit. But long story short, I, I, my question for you is, what are your thoughts? Because he because he he joined a gang after he became, you know, a lot of these rappers they join gangs after they become famous. What what are your thoughts on people who do that? They don't be true members. They don't be solid to the structure because, you know, when you grow up in the neighborhood as a kid, you build bonds with your friends that you grow up with. You know what I mean? So that bond is carried through your adulthood. You know what I mean? So you vow to never tell on your homeboy. You know what I mean? And you vow to revenge his death if he was to pass away. So you got these dudes that, that, you know, nowadays you can just join any gang. You can say you're from this gang and, Cause you got money or you're a rapper or whatever. And then, you know, they, they taint it, you know what I mean? And then 
I don't even know where he's from or what state he's from, but he's a New York you know, guy, bro. Oh, New York, yeah. See, so you know, certain gangs still live by that code. You know, you you, you snatch it. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, yeah. But yeah, he's he's a clown. Yeah, you know, we, we won't give him any more yeah. airplay. But um, let me ask you, as as a you know person who's lived through it, do you think that the average gang members or you know former gang banger suffers from PTSD? Yep, hmm. PTSD nightmares and uh, all kind of stuff, man. Because when you out here, because you got you got two type of gang bangers. You got the gang bangers that just sell drugs and make a lot of money, but just claim the gang. You got some gang bangers that do it for fashion. There's a fashion statement, you know, they want to just look tough. Then you got some gang bangers that's that's all the above. They killers, they jackers, robbers, kidnappers. You know, they they really serious about it. You know what I mean? So when you live that life like that and you really on the front line like that, committing them type of crimes, you know, them crimes come back and they hunt you. You know what I mean? You sleep. Yeah, yeah. I, I was never a gang member. But, you know, I've been sh- living in the hood. You know, you get shot at, you're around gunshots. I'm always, I've mm-hmm. always been around gunshots, so I suffer from a mild case of it. I couldn't even imagine what somebody who was fully out there gangbanging for years and yeah. getting shot at and shooting people and in and out of prison and stuff like that. It's, yeah, man. And the f- yeah, because it's, it's nothing to play with, man. It's just, it's, it's, it's serious, it's scary. You know, you wake up every morning. I mean, I couldn't tell you how many times I woke up in the morning and uh, looked at my family. I was walking out the door like, you know what? This might be my last time seeing y'all. Wow, homie. You know what I mean? Because it was just that much mm. gunplay and gun, you know what I mean? Game banging going on outside my door when I walked outside. Mm-mm. You know what I mean? Because it was going down every day, all day long. Damn. What's the craziest thing as an active gang member that you saw that you said, man, I can't believe I, I made it out of this? Oh man, where shit, where I Damn, start, uh, man said, where do I start? Off uh, the top, that's crazy, man. I mean, if you can't think of anything, well, one crazy. of my one of my homeboys, me and one of my homeboys was, you know, hanging out or whatever, and uh, this female pulled up. She wanted some, some whatever, some stuff. So I jump in the car with her, and I'm sitting on the passenger seat. So I seen this car pass by, and I lock eyes with the dude. And I already knew that, you know, who we, you know, I already, I recognize the face, mm. but I'm like, look back, like, I know that, I know that's not him, you know, coming through it like that. And then one of my other homeboys walked up to the driver's side and, and, you know, bent down inside the car talking to us. As soon as I could tell him to, hey, watch out, that was that, you know, that dude, he was shot seven times. Oh. You know what I mean? The broad daylight. So I'm like, man, that could have, you know, it could have been me if I wasn't paying attention. You know, that could have been me. You're not even wet. Wet. What's wet? What do you mean, what's wet? You landed in the river, but your clothes are all dry. Illusion, that's all. Just an illusion. Like that jukebox playing in the corner. That's an illusion, too. (laughs) Who's really ready to get this shit poppin'? Stay divine in this motherfucker, we not stoppin'. Lockin' the game ahead of our time, but that was 20 years ago, we still killin' the rhyme. It's the reunion, unification of the dopest niggas. I still throw it up and I'm still makin' the figures. I'm a grown-ass man with a lot to live for. Barefoot, walkin' on the sand and seashore. Chillin', livin' my life to find a better way. Overlookin' the ocean before retirement day. And I'ma get it, because I'm different, not like you. Mamba mentality told me to do what I do. Creativity, I'm a Libra. I balance the scales, giving my gift to the world like show and tell. But don't well, I'm a package and maybe you will buy it. Just give it one verse when you listen. I'm a little bit different. I don't know why I do what I do. I just don't want to be alone. I don't know why I do what I do. I just don't want to be like you. I'm a little bit different. The sky ain't always blue. Always cool. I'm a little bit Wake up, dead third eye wide open. open Other two eyes cloudy because of all night Smoking on some clone guy fire yeah. Got me higher than the UFO Breathe your nose, hope that smoke relax Exhale slow Down the rabbit hole we go Never searching for the tricks Freaks come out that night from what they say And they legit 
experience Seize the moment, opportunist I make love to the pressure When I go all in, it seems to exist Don't get me pissed Your whole style gets drowned in the abyss Can't run my way I leave you in a brush, do rack list Swim with the fishes Can't find your body, no reminiscing Now you're wishing You never fuck with the birth never ending Lesson learned I'm on your head, lace front perm Pass through your skin Now you addicted, nigga derm Never ever cross the line, you will get burned Just sit back, take notes and wait your turn I'm a little bit different Then you know it's lights out I be all in my feels Melting into my couch In another time zone In somebody else's house In the twilight zone Where the street lights out And the tambourine man Tells me about his whole plan Clouds turning into sand Oceans turning into land There's a gun in my hand And a penny in my pocket And I don't even know If I'ma make it to the rocket Cause they just counted down In the at three now So I'm running through the clouds With my luggage and my bible And a smile on my face Cause I'm in another place Where the turtle wins the race And he throws it in your face I don't give two fucks about it, yeah you know I'm about it, about it Shit, subscribe to the newspaper, read all about it Shit, read the whole book cause the cover's kinda plain I'm a little messed up if you know what I'm saying I'm a saying. little bit different I don't know why I do what I do I just don't wanna be like you I just don't wanna be like you I'm a little bit different I don't know why I do what I do I just don't wanna be like you I just don't wanna be like you I'm a little bit very shortly. I think they're going to like it here. It's a lovely area. So, so remote, so pleasant, so off the beaten track. Just the perfect spot for a colony, don't you think, Mr. Haley? It was a bloody war, man. And it's crazy because I say it all the time that the junior high school that I went with, you know, we was all, we was all kids and friends at this high school together. You know what I'm saying? We was shooting dice together and pitching quarters against the against the wall. Remember how you used to pitch quarters or whatever? Yep. Whoever get the close to the wall, you get the quarter, play and get like me. Yep. And we went to school with these dudes. Damn. We go to high school, same thing. You know what I mean? We become friends. And then uh, mm -hmm. I remember I was in camp with a couple of them. And uh, we used to be sitting there, you know, lifting weights. And I, we used to be joke, joking and talking. I used to tell them, hey, man, if we ever start beefing with y'all, I'm going to come and get you. And they all laughing, oh, now you, mm. man, we ain't gonna never start beefing. I was, I was serious, like, you know what? I'm letting you know, man, I mean, if we ever start beefing with y'all, I'm coming to get you. Mm. And when we went to war, it was crazy because we went to war, not with their older homeboys, we went to war with the dudes you went to school with, the dudes that you knew, mm -hmm, yeah. where they lived at, you know what I mean? These same dudes, you know, their first and last name. You know what I mean? We was going over there, and we was looking for them, and they was coming looking for us, you know? And the yeah. police didn't give a fuck. They let us go to war. Mm. Yeah, my boy Sin Loke from a neighborhood in Compton, he went to Dominguez High, and, yeah, he said the same thing, man. They all grew up, you know, going to elementary, because in Compton, as you know, it's like that, you, you know, you, you throw a rock and you hit three gangs, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, yeah, they were all going to school until where eventually they just, they just all had to, you know, start shooting each other. So much so, it was crazy that Dominguez High, I don't know if it's like that to this day, but back in the day, you would have to, the Crips entered on one side of the of the school, like on the Alondra side, and then the mm -hmm. Bloods entered on the other side. Yeah, Dominguez was that was our rival enemies. The, the high school uh -huh. land with the Dominguez. Yeah, you every guys time play we football. played. Oh yeah, did you play uh, football? Man, it was all. Nah, I was. Oh, okay. I got kicked off the team, man. Oh. I was. <laughs> you can't come to practice in Chuck Taylor. <laughs> 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 the blue rides and shit, you know, you got to, yeah, yeah, yeah. your coach wasn't having that shit. That's hilarious, man. Yeah, yeah, we played Dominguez uh, shit a bunch of times throughout my high school year and shit. That motherfucking field, man, you you get sliced by glass, you fucking yeah. step on a fucking m a mine and shit. That, that was the worst field ever. I don't know if it's still like that, but that's how it was back in the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I never went to Dominguez. Like, our vis or when we go to visit Dominguez, I never went. But oh, for our home games... Oh yeah, we was there. For yeah. we was there full force. Yeah, Linwood Knights, man, purple. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. That's, 
had I banged a chick from Linwood. She was really nice, really nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, yeah, man. So um, I guess my last question for you is, how, uh, remind me again how old you were when you, I guess, technically joined Pope Street. Uh, probably about fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. And you're you're about you're probably in your forties right now. I'll be forty six tomorrow. There it is. We're in the same age range. All right, cool. Uh, let me ask you if you if you had a chance to talk to a fourteen year old you. You know what I'm saying? For for a minute or two, what, what would you say to him? Try to get a career, gain a career, something that you like to do, and uh, take care of your family. Listen to your elders, respect your mother and father, and don't take your life for granted. You know, any any opportunity you get, take advantage of it because we live in the different times. It ain't this ain't the '80s or the '70s no more, man. We living in way different times, you know, and. Uh, Plan twenty years down the line, you know. Plan your life mm -hmm. twenty, ten years down the line, you know. Set yourself up for a good future. Yeah, that's what I would tell. That's what's up, man. No better way to end the show, Big Devil. It's been a pleasure, man. Uh, I want to thank you once again for coming on the program. Do you have anything you want to promote? Yeah, you got you know any any, any projects or anything? Or uh, I'm writing an autobiography. Oh, um, I just finished it. So tell me, tell us I about it. it. Uh, just about my life story. Um, yeah. Just growing up in in uh, different neighborhoods, and uh, you know my upbringing, my family, my mother and father, and uh, it's a good book, man. It's, it's it's a good book. It's not a it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a true story, in you know, a fiction, and it's a it's really a success story. You know what I mean? Being went through everything that I went through and lived the life I lived. There's no way I was supposed to be here at 46, living the life that I'm living today. Mm. That's what's up, man. And I want to, I draw, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make this official now. I'm going to drop this on everybody, especially people who I think have a message out there and who, who have lived a, a, a crazy life. But I would suggest you getting a YouTube channel and just start talking. Just start talking about your life, man. May pick a right. topic. The time, uh, you know, just like you told me about the time your homie got shot seven times in front. You could do, you could do a, a you could do a 20 minute YouTube video on that get thousands maybe even millions of views and really make it something dog like don't don't let don't um don't um downplay technology use everything right. to your advantage man i'm just gonna drop that right. on you and and you you kind of run with it or just hold it hold it hold it there and, and think about it or whatever but i'm gonna plant that little seed and and, and i'm yeah. just throwing that out there man yeah because i definitely need to get that out there and uh you know what i mean because everybody got a story to tell yeah you man. Know i mean everybody everybody life's is a it's a new a unique situation you know yeah word man well thank you so much big devil I'll, I'll be talking to you soon all right okay thanks all right man peace I'm at a crossroads every damn day looking back in my past when I sleep but living on the edge now I'm doing enough and it went deep down to my feet what do I do when I need a little food and I gotta get the money for the rent? Fall to my knees, pray to the Lord, come on son, he can give me some money, repent. What? What? Thank you. I really love you, baby, so I spank you. Life is a wet straight, fucking you up. Living in a prison, I'ma shank you. So what's love got to do with it? When it with my heart on my sleeve, I'ma fold. But she said she loved me, she wanted to hug me, and but she's stories get told. I spy with my little mind's eye, dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight, baby. gonna be okay and while the world burns i'll be near the skyline and i'll be biding my time till i can ride the wave then everything gonna be okay yeah what are the chances you're picking a flight we're leaving the night pack up your bags we're leaving this place and this baggage because what could we do while Rome is collapsing But not in a day We'll be okay The tip of your mouth You're Jackson I'll pull up the map then Cause I'm through Keeping up with these Joneses Don't care what they're posting You know You only see what they show you Let's fall off the grid then Cause we don't Owe nothing to no one Darling just listen It'll be Just like starting over I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on What you can see in daylight Baby ignore the rain Everything gonna be okay And 
while the world burns I'll be near the skyline and I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay Wanna be on a beach somewhere Feet kicked up in my chair Smoke all up in the air Clouds are looking lovely My girl is by my side My gun is by my side But why do cameras always make me look so ugly? And the smile fades when they disappear Till it's only you wishing someone cared Yelling out the window Is anybody there? Does anybody care? Was the rope in the fucking chair? And since God wanna play these fucking games I'ma take it there With my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond What you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay let me slide on in like I hit a home run Bottle of the night, I get the job done Celebrating life, I've bottles like I wanna Pour some out for the homies, I'm on ya Reminisce, so your memory Every time I blaze a tree, voices in my head Keep on urging me, tell them about the story Hate the game from the hood All about the paper, many years misunderstood Thinking I could one day make it on the big stage Amazed at what I say, metaphorical wordplay Fucking up your frequency Got you moving and grooving to a kind of time of state Nah, I'm gonna stay high, chilling, embracing the vibe Taking you on a ride and listen to further night As long as you recognize the eyes in the sky I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay